K feldspar can be a little tricky to identify in thin section, but there's one variety, microcline, that is quite distinctive, and it's usually not that bad. Um, it, it's this grain in the center, low relief, clear, non-pleochroic, but when you cross the polars, you get what's called tartan twinning, and it's this cross-hatch twinning, uh, uh, gray, black and gray and white, um, and that is absolutely distinctive of microcline. This is another microcline crystal you'll see when I cross the polars. K feldspar has a little bit lower relief than quartz and plagioclase, but that's really hard to see. I'll, I'll have to show that to you in a relief video rather than one of these. Um, but here you can see that, that beautiful crosshatch twinning. It's not at 90 degrees here, it's at some other angle, but um, that nonetheless is distinctive of microcline. Now, high temperature K feldspar, when it cools off slowly, can exolve little blebs or crystals of a sodic feldspar, the albite. Um, and you'll see that when I cross the polars, that the crystal in the middle is not a homogeneous color. There are these other little gray and white blobs in there, and those are the more albitic uh, feldspar that exolved from the homogeneous feldspar. This is a texture, it's called perthite. This is another more typical perthite you'll see when I cross the polars. K feldspars uh, tend to alter to clay more easily than other feldspars or other silicates. And so all that sort of brownish, um, fine-grained stuff is a clay alteration of the feldspar. That's pretty typical for K feldspar, and you don't see it with the quartz crystals around it. The plagioclase is a little altered, but not nearly as much as the K feldspar. And you would see that in a plain polarized light. This is just another really beautiful uh, perthitic uh, K feldspar. Again, the K feldspar is the part that has those that little fine-grained uh, brownish um, alteration along it. There are some other crystals that don't have that alteration that are black in cross polars, and that's the sodalite that is um, in this particularly alkali-rich um, intrusion. And last, I'm not very good at identifying minerals in volcanic rocks, but I'm pretty sure that this is a, a high temperature K feldspar called sanidine. Um, same kind of deal, low relief. Um, these are rapidly cooled, so you do not see any kind of exolution. Um, but commonly, K feldspars will have a, a single twin running down the center called a Carlsbad twin. Um, and that's one of the reasons I'm pretty sure this is a K feldspar.